and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming probably my most favourite video to film of the year. As you can see by the title, it is my 2021 20, Halloween haul. If you've been subscribed for a while, you will know that every year I like to film one of these videos just to kind of show what I've purchased new for that year. I'm a huge fan of Halloween, as you can probably tell, and every year I like to just add a few new additions to our collection, the decor, um, yes. However, I feel like this year, I did go a little crazy, like gathering all the stuff up. I'm just kind of like, maybe I bought too much. Well, probably not too much, but I feel like I probably now need to donate some things and I'm probably gonna donate them to my nieces just because they are fans of Halloween. Um, so yeah, it will give me pleasure to donate some things that I've loved in the past um, onto the new Halloween fans of the family. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video and show you what I got. Pew! Little Miss Robina has just jumped on the bed and is definitely wanting some snuggles. Oh, Robin, you're so cute. So this show, I'm actually gonna do it a little bit different. Instead of kind of gathering everything from the house and bringing it up and showing you, I'm gonna show the things that I haven't put out on camera, kind of sat down, and then things that I've already got out around the house or on display, I will just take the camera around and do like a little bit of a vlog style video. Also, this camera is not straight. There we go. So the first item is from Emma Bridgewater. Now, Emma Bridgewater is a British brand who, I don't know, do they specialize in mugs? I feel like they probably do. They're well known for their mugs. So this is the 2021 Halloween mug. I just love the style of illustration. It's very, very different to kind of like my drawing for Smile More. It has like a little scene around like little mouse, pumpkin, owl, and then it has two, I'm not quite sure what birds these are, pheasants, maybe not, eating a little pumpkin. And then inside, if you can see, it also has a autumnal print that has like the pumpkins, the leaves, the owls, little mice. Very, very cute. This was, I think, £25, so quite pricey for a mug. However, they are limited edition, so once they've sold out, that is it. They never usually come back in stock, so if you want to get one, I would uh, recommend purchasing. Okay, moving on with the theme of mugs. I've seen these all over TikTok, all over Instagram. Every year, I feel like Poundland releases an item and social media just blows it up and everybody wants them and you can't find them anywhere. They sell out as soon as they get them in stock. Um, last year, it was this light up glass pumpkin. This year, it's the pumpkin cup. Believe it or not, these were one pound from Poundland. I know sometimes they have like more expensive items, but these were one pound each. I look, I've look, i looked around our local Poundland stores and never seen them. However, last week, me and Mr P went to Blackpool for a couple of nights and I just so happened to walk past the Poundland, went in, saw them on the shelf, and decided to purchase them. So yeah, one pound each, absolute bargain. So if Emma Bridgewater isn't kind of your style, you can definitely pick up a more budget-friendly mug that um, still looks really cute. But also in Poundland, to carry my cups around in, I decided to buy this cute spider bag. Again, this was one pound, and I just thought this was much more cuter. So this is actually brand new for this year, but I actually bought it back in May when we went to Cornwall for our holiday, and it's a TY Ploofies. I don't know, I've never heard of that brand before, but it's like the softest, squishiest, um, TY that I've ever had. This one is called Shudders. It's a very cute ghost. I remember they used to have like a little poem inside, but apparently they don't do that anymore. But okay, so next few things are from Next. So the first item is this pumpkin hand towel. It just says, hey there, pumpkin, on the bottom. And it, I thought it looked really nice in the downstairs toilet. This was £8. I think they still have them online, um, but I know you can set up alerts on Next. So if they haven't, just set up a little email alert. But yeah, £8. Great little find. I literally forgot I ordered this. Again, from Next. So on the ad, so on the website they actually have this hanging on uh, like a door handle. This was five pounds, so again very very cute, like a satiny kind of texture. And then on the top it's actually silver glitter. Not really a great fan of glitter, but I just thought this was cute. Also it's a pumpkin, so what's not to love? And then last but not least, I actually ordered two of these Hello Pumpkin mugs. I can't remember how much these were. It's a smooth cup, but like the writing and the actual pumpkins are 
it's almost like a rough kind of texture which is really really nice it obviously it has a like orange a burnt orange handle and the burnt orange rim around the top and it's a really big mug to have so this would be perfect for hot chocolates coffee your tea i guess whatever hot drink you want to put in there how many new halloween mugs have i bought one two three four five six <laughs> not including the like 12 that i probably already got so that is everything up here i'm going to take you downstairs now and show you the new additions that i've purchased this year but are already on display around the house so let's go down and have a little tour Okay, so new additions for 2021. First are these three pumpkins. They're actually like a velvety texture with this. I feel like it's, it's either wood or metal stalk. Three different sizes, burnt orange, a, a darker orange, and then a green. These were actually given to me by my auntie. She no longer wanted them. So she was going to give them to a charity shop, but she thought she would ask me first. And I'm glad she did because I think they look pretty cool. I think they look really nice in the window. So yeah, I'm really happy she gave them to me. Now, okay, I know this display looks a lot and there's a lot going on, but I've kind of just kept everything here before I distribute it around the house in our bedrooms and um, just to showcase kind of what I've got and just to kind of gather it up is a little bit easier so let's start with this pom-pom again this was another item that my auntie no longer wanted so she gave it to us before giving it to a charity shop I'm not sure where it was from I'm guessing probably Amazon next we have this little mouse here it's actually like a tree decoration this was from home sense I think it was four pound but I thought it was very cute dressed in his little witch's hat and then pump jumper he does have backwards feet which makes no sense at all but very cute then he also picked up this little witch decoration again the same kind of material like a felt I think it's called felting um holding a pumpkin and again it's four pound from home sense then we have this almost like wooden carved effect pumpkin again this was from TK Maxx I think it was about six pound seven pound it wasn't a lot I did actually get it from TK Maxx the website so again I would check out the website because things on the website don't don't always appear on the store so that is probably one of my top tips same as this little pumpkin this does light up this again was from tk max online this was i think four pound and it does have to have a little led lighting so you can light him up at night but again four pound very inexpensive and again it was on the website i've never seen them in stores so be sure to check out the website for some good little spooky finds and the next item is this tricky and treats risp crisp rich crisp and spiced candle this was from home scent it's by the brand dw home which i think are really really good branded candles i can't remember how much it was i think probably six pound but i haven't lit it yet it smells incredible excited to light that around the spooky season and actually have another candle this one is from mns this was nine pound fifty this is actually pumpkin spice and what's cool about this candle is this candle also has color changing leds in it so apparently when you light it the candle glows up different colors as shown in the little picture so i'm very excited to try that see kind of what colors it burns so the next item is this little ghoulie ghost this wasn't actually bought from a shop i made these and put them on my etsy store they are all sold out at the moment so i'm hoping to restock them hopefully in the next couple of days so be sure to check out shopsmallmore.com if you wish to buy your own but they're just cute little ceramic ghosts that i think just add cuteness to your halloween display what do you think cute we like and then last but definitely not the least i created my very own halloween mug for this year you can actually buy these on my etsy store shopsmallmore.com all of the illustrations are hand drawn by myself you can actually buy these in a sticker pack as well but i also wanted to try something new for this year and i'm really pleased with how this come out it's a white cup it has all the characters around the edge and then inside it is a dusty pale pink color and i just think it is the perfect halloween mug for 2021 yes i said it the best halloween mug for 2021 think in the bio if you want to buy your own boots thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a like also comment in the box down below let me know out of all of the items that i purchased for the new year let me know which was your favorite for me i don't think i can actually choose my favorite item like from the more expensive items down to the more affordable items from Poundland. i just think they're all 
well made, well themed items for this year. So yeah, whatever your budget is, go out, buy some little trinkets, some little treats to celebrate the spooky autumn, fall, Halloween season. Thanks for watching as always and until next time, peace out.